DeFi is the hot word in crypto at the moment, but what about AI? What is going on guys? This is Yixer of Magna Crypto and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I want to do a coin review on fetch.ai. Now I'll do a brief description about it, look at the technicals, look at the use case, and give you my overall opinion on it. So as always, this is my opinion. Uh, there's always going to be some things that I might miss out. But at the end of the day, do your own research and take what I say with a grain of salt and use it and build on it. So Fetch AI is best described as a machine learning enabled blockchain, a decentralized digital economy. So the edge that Fetch.ai has is that it combines artificial intelligence Machine learning, mach machine learning, and makes that into a digital marketplace. So you've got these, what they call autonomous economic agents that every device would have, and this can interact with other economic agents and transfer data. So for example, one of the use cases is in transport, and you know, you've, and this is all within like the IoT Internet of Things kind of industry and world. So you've got, for example, your phone, which is a device in the Internet of Things, uh, a device, you've got the train tracks, uh, you've got the trains, all um, kind of devices within Internet IoT. And so if there's a delay, this information from the train would be sent to your phone and then your phone um, would pick this up and using AI, it would analyze information and then maybe suggest a different route because of the delayed train. So you basically fetch AI uses, uses artificial, artificial intelligence to your benefit. Um, now this is all done in a decentralized and secure manner. So your data is not actually being sent around um, it's all safe and secure. And so you'd actually um, build, so everyone has an economic, like a, their own AI economic agent and you would teach it your preferences so it does exactly what you want and it would optimize your preference. So maybe if you, if you liked walking, for example, we would try to always find the best walking routes, things like that. You can you teach artific artificial intelligence what you like and it does the work for you. So let's go into a little bit more. Let's have a look at the roadmap. So at the moment we are in Q3 2020. So I've highlighted some things that I'm looking forward to in the roadmap. So the release of a decentralized random beacon network, announcement of an alpha for Atomics, a liquidity platform which brings a real assets, real world assets to the crypto space. Governance structure for Fetch.ai to ensure decentralized ownership and maintenance. Open source release of collective learning system and application to healthcare and financial services. Uh, all, all of the updates, all of the goals are very important, but those are the ones that I gravitated towards. And also the open beta of Metalex with the video walkthroughs uh, and interactive demos. Um, the only thing I d I'm not, I don't like about this roadmap is although it's it's quite clear, it doesn't actually tell you whether it's complete, it's been completed or not. A lot of other roadmaps will tell you exactly the percentage uh, to which it's been completed and all the things that have been done and are yet to be done. Whereas this is just a roadmap and it's, te it's not telling you if it's been completed or not. For example, if you go to the Q2 2020, um, Metalex, which is one of the use cases, we'll, into, we'll get into that in a, in a second, which is a commodity marketplace, a tokenized commodity marketplace. One of their aims is to set this up and they have begun this process, but as to how far they've gotten, we are not quite sure yet. However, I did see a tweet from the CEO, the founder of Fetch.ai that um, early this month, he did say that they are getting ready to launch it. Um, also, they have their website open. However, it's not 
it's not being launched as you can see um, they're simply collecting emails so this this part of the roadmap I'm not a big fan of um, but you can see that they are very ambitious so that's always good to see so Metalex so what they're building is a commodity exchange and decentralized finance uh, it's an in innovative platform that will allow increased liquidity in trading of steel base metals and other commodities so fetch AI is helping the market participants overcome existing barriers to entry through technology and it will enable and simplify digitalized trading of these materials through the use of tokens allowing market players to gain market gain access to existing or exciting new risk management tools while maintaining market efficiency and security. The decentralized platform will unlock new funding models for the supply chain participants by allowing, allowing them to use their materials as a collateral for tokens, which will enable full realization of the value of the underlying commodity they are holding. It will also allow spread hedging between raw materials and finished products in a simplified fashion, which will help market players to better hedge the portion of the supply chain which is more relevant to them. Um, as I said, the founder does have, that's where his background is in the steel. Uh, and so in terms of a first use case, a proper use case, this is, they're going to have the opportunity to actually use that technology live. So the rest of the world, anyone that's watching can see the the benefits of using fetch.ai. So the team itself um, has good experience. You can actually look at the team in your own time, but they have good experience. I wouldn't say they're world-class and not all stars in terms of having experience at the big companies uh, that we would all recognize, but they definitely have experience in their own right, uh, especially in their positions as CEOs or founders for Humayun, he's got good experience founding different companies. Um, and the other individuals also have experience in their own fields, uh, being leaders in their roles. Again, I wouldn't say they're all stars, but they definitely have good experience. So the other thing that's quite exciting that they're building is Atomics. Uh, as I mentioned before, which is a liquidity platform which brings real world assets to, to the crypto space. Now there are other crypto projects that are doing this, tokenizing real world assets, the likes of uh, Tezos doing security tokens and other projects doing something similar. So uh, they're gonna come with a different spin to it using AI and machine learning. So that definitely will be a different edge to it, um, which will be very, very interesting to see if they can actually gain customers that are willing to use it. Um, the fact that they already are starting Metalix, um, if they can you know, show their, their benefits using that, I'm sure customers will start lining up, um, but it's very exciting to see that they're building that and using the technology to build that. So let's finish off with some technical analysis. So as you can see, since its inception back in March 2019, well, that's when trading volume started, um, it's been downhill very much so, an absolute avalanche of, of losses. Um, it managed to find a base around 400 Satoshis, um, tried to as you can see all the strong volume from that point it tried to it tried to lift off from that point it found resistance at around 900 satoshis to a thousand satoshis got rejected from that point then it broke through that uh level of support temporarily or for a couple of months even um but you can see that the volume was still good and so it looks like this was a, a period of accumulation once it broke from that support turned resistance it was on a monster run and it broke past this other point of resistance that i tried to break through earlier and that's where we are now we've closed above that level so that's very positive retested retested that level um 
a lot of indecision. It managed to go all the way up to this point at around 1500 Satoshis uh, with with small, small volume. Um, so it'll be inter very interesting to see what happens next um, because we have now broken past that level of resistance. So we might use this as support now and carry on or we might start to go below it. The next, the thing, the thing though is that there isn't a lot of resistance between these two areas. So if we continue to have good volume then we could very well rocket to the next level at around 2000 Satoshis. Um, so that'd be very interesting to see, but it's, it's a very positive price action and the volume has been good. So that's, that's a very positive sign um, already. Um, the project overall, the project does look quite good. A very interesting project. Again, combining AI and machine learning. Uh, they've got some very interesting projects that they're setting up. Very interesting projects with Metalix and Atomics. Um, so in terms of things to look forward to, which could create hype and anticipation are the, 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 the beginnings of those two projects, especially Metalix. Um, so I'll be very, very much looking forward to those things uh, starting and, and they, they are starting soon. The founder did mention Metal Metalix, he mentioned earlier this month that it is going to be launching very, very soon. Um, I am quite excited about this project now that I've done my research on it. That'll be all for this video, so see you in the next one.